welcome back to Fox 8 News in the Morning. Happy Wednesday to you. So summer, well, kind of winding down, I guess, right? It's come to an end. That means it is time to put your garden to bed. Ken Zawicki is with the TD Garden Centers. He is joining us live right now and in our garden here at Fox 8. Ken, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning. It's good to see you. So it seems it's hard like to it believe was how just, fast summer went. Yes, it seems like it was a minute ago that we were getting that garden up and running. But what are some things that we should be doing right now? Sure. So it's hard to believe how, how fast we got here. Um, if your garden still looks good, you can still do some harvesting. Um, we're getting closer to that frost date. The nights are getting colder. If you have some tomatoes that still look good but they're not quite ripe yet, you can go ahead and actually cut them with the vine and all and bring them into your garage. Um, it's not actually the sunlight, but it's the heat that'll ripen your tomatoes and your peppers. So if you got your garden in late and there's still some stuff that you know you don't want to lose with the frost, you know the impending frost, now would be a great time to go ahead and harvest that, bring it in your garage, and it'll ripen over the next you know three to four weeks or so. Super interesting. Um, so that'd be the first thing I'd be looking at. Okay. Um, the other thing I, the other thing you want to be doing is you want to make sure that you're you know tearing out all the plant material and you're disposing of that. Um, what happens is is a lot of times you'll have overwintering insect or disease problems in the plant material. So the sooner you can get that out of your garden, the better. Um, all that stuff should be kind of taken out and thrown away, discarded or burned. If you leave it in your garden, you run the risk of carrying over insects and disease you know, for the next year. Um, once you've gotten rid of all that plant material and you've harvested what you can, um, the next thing would be just kind of turning over your garden, taking your, your shovel or your spade and just kind of doing a light turnover with it to kind of help aerate it and break up some of the roots of the plants that you know, were there this previous year. Um, after that, there's a lot of soil amendments you could add now. Fall is actually a better time than spring to add the soil amendments because you have all winter for the, so the amendments to break down. Adding things like lime, you know, gives it six to eight months to kind of start working before you're planting and that'll get you right in time for next spring. Um, there's composted manure, there's sweet peat, that can all be added to the soil as well just to kind of give it some energy. The, the vegetables really strip out a lot of nutrients out of the soil over the growing season. So by adding this back into the, the garden in the fall, it really does a good job to kind of get you started for the spring. If you have weed problems, um, burnout is a great organic weed killer. You can go ahead and spray this and this will kind of, you know, take care of the weeds this fall so you don't have to fight with them come springtime. And one thing we always recommend is a product called Winter Wheat. This is a great cover crop. It's a seed, it's a, you know, it's a, a grain if you will. You broadcast this over the garden and it comes up just like a grass. It'll grow all winter long, and then in the springtime, you cut it and you work it, you rototill it back into the soil, and it adds organic matter and nutrients back into the soil that'll help your plants for next year. Um, one last thing, you know, it's never too early to start um, planting for next year. October is a great time to plant your garlic. Um, pretty much, you just open the garlic clove up like you were going to cook with it, and you plant each individual bulb. And if you plant that now, you'll see the green come up in the spring, and then you'd harvest your garlic next October. You'll have nice full heads and kind of start your garden for next year. That is awesome. So let me ask you too, all of the, if people have their herb garden out there, I know my mint has been taking off like crazy. Any of those, can they, any of them survive the winter? Or is this a good time to maybe, if you have them in pots, I have mine in pots, can you bring those inside? Sure. Mint is extremely hardy, so that's one for sure that you can, you know, will survive all winter and continue to grow for you. You can bring it in pots in, in the house if you want to harvest it through the winter, or if you just bring it in the garage, it'll overwinter fine and you'll have it for next year. Um, there's a lot of different herbs that are perennial and will come back every year. A lot of times oregano, lavender, those will come back year after year for you. Fantastic. Thank you so another, much, Ken. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, another thing, too, is, you know, if you have a lot of leaves in your yard or grass clippings, you can add them to the top of your garden. You can add those grass clippings and the leaves to the top of your garden as well to put organics back into the garden and then just kind of rototill them up, you know, come springtime. Whatever you can do to get that soil alive so that, you know, you have a successful year next year. Sounds great. All wonderful news. Ken, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Great advice. Thank you. All righty. Have a great week. Well, Ken Zawicki in our Fox 8 garden this morning.